G'day, how you going? Ian Apples here, you're a acrylic guru. Welcome to my Friday Night Live Q&A. This is where we come together once a week, every Friday, 8 p.m. Perth time, where we connect, you ask me whatever questions you like, and I answer them to the best of my ability. I've got some water and coffee here, so I'm going to have a mouthful of that. I hope everything is clear and the sound is okay. Now, this is where I like to connect with my followers here. Who we got? We got Inverness, Barry, Kevin, uh, Vania, Stephen, Angela, Lisa Carroll. Your hair looks great. Thank you. Alita Thomas, uh, Florida, Rebecca. G'day, Rebecca. Good morning. Um, good morning, everybody. Hi, Ian. Thanks for the Friday Night Live. You're welcome there. I like to do this for all my followers there. Happy birthday, Julie Cash. Oh, and I've got a parcel over there from the lovely Julie Cash. I'm going to open in a minute later on in the show, so thank you very much for that, Julie. We'll get on to that, so stay tuned for that. Julie Pitham, g'day, Julie Pitham. Aurora, hello, Aurora, and BJ Shaw, all the way from North Carolina. North Carolina. All right, and I've got a few people I like to acknowledge and thank as well, and I'll quickly go through people who have supported me in the last week as um, Lisa Carroll, Kevin Brownwall, Darren McLean, Rebecca Thom, and Julie Cash. Thank you very much for your support. These people have supported me in the last week through ways of purchasing my art, simply hitting the donate PayPal link and support me there, or uh, becoming a patron of mine. There's uh, links in the description below. You can become a patron. You can become a member of my art group there. There's about 11 there. Knock yourself out and see what they all do, eh? Uh, while we, I also want to grab across my videos. So sometimes in my live shows, I like to go across and reference what videos I have. In my archive, there are over 300 tutorials there. There's uh, beginners, advanced beginners, intermediates. There's all type of subjects there. Okay, so if you're not familiar with it, check out the link in the description below titled my videos, and it'll take you to the, um, what do you call it, the playlist. So what do we got here? Hello, everybody. Um, Barry, sound is great. Thank you very much. Sound is great. Thank you. In North Carolina. So... I'm going to see on here on this one. Where are we? Get this one over this side if I can highlight. Yes, there we go. Happy birthday to Julie Cash. So, yes, it must be Julie Cash's birthday. Uh, enjoy the peeps. I enjoy the live peeps. Uh, you're a sweet girl, says Julie Cash, says to Angela Young. Hi, everybody. I seem to miss you again. You're here, Carla Swift. Hi, everyone. I seemed to miss you again. Well, you're here now. Uh, Kevin Brownwire. Hi, Ian. When you get your canvas roll and cut it to size, do you prime it with white gesso before you start painting? No, I don't. The canvas I get, I actually got some over here. I'm not plugged into a mic today, so I can freely roam around. It's a bit great. It's a bit gratingly great. This is a piece cut off from it. One side is already primed. The other side is raw, neat. Nothing on it at all, okay? And that's the size I, side I obviously paint on, and that's where I put my craft paint and the retarder. Then I, that's, that's all I put on it when I know I'm blending a sky, all right? Uh, happy birthday, Julie. Hi there. G'day, everyone, says Jerry Powell. G'day, Jerry Powell. How you going, sweetheart? Kisses to you, my dear friend. Great. I thought I'd missed you. No, you haven't, Carla Swift. Carla Swift is in the room. Uh, Lisa Carroll is saying, Carla, grab some coffee. You're here already. Grab your cuppa. Have a cuppa with the guru. This is one of my cups. A few people have been buying my um, merchandise I saw. Don't be shy if you're a member of the group. And once it gets delivered, you can always put it on the group and show them what you've just purchased and what you've, been, what you've got as well. I need some water to keep myself hydrated as well. Okay, Julie Cash, thank you. From Fred to Julie to Pitham. Oh, to Julie Pitham. Okay, thanks, Ian. Great chat, Peggy Sterling. All right, so... I've got a couple of questions here, but before we get into it, how long have we been going for? Uh, six minutes, there we go. Now, this will go for about an hour. Sometimes it might dribble over an hour, or if it's getting a bit shy on the questions and that, and 
not many people come in the room. It could go less than an hour, but we're always getting a, a bit over an hour anyway. What have we been going for? 26 people in there. All right. Um, I've read that one. What have we got here? Claire Smith, can you use matte or gloss to retard? Now, I'm not quite sure what you meant by can you use matte or gloss to retard. I'm assuming, let's say, you're saying can you use retarder in matte or gloss paint. You can use the retarder in acrylic paint and it will stop it from drying faster. That's all it does. It's not a matte medium or a gloss medium where it'll make it glossier. Uh, it's not a glaze. You can't use glaze as a retarder. You cannot use water as a retarder. Okay. Um, the retarder simply stops acrylics from drying quicker. It slows the drying time down, okay? Uh, we got an, That was from Carla Smith. We got another one here from Robin Watt. How do you finish the sides and, and your edges? Well, there's a couple of ways you can do it. This one here, it's tape, so I can't move. That was painted around. Certain canvases, subjects, and signs, you want to take the effort and paint around them. If you're just doing the um, typical um, stretch canvas, you can, once it's painted, you can just paint that black. It gives it, it, gives it a shadowed edge. Or minor canvas panels. I don't have one with me here. They're all the way over there. But th th you don't paint the sides of a canvas panel. You can paint it on it. doesn't matter because it's going to sit in a frame, Okay. Okay, uh, okay, thanks, Ian. A great chat, Peggy Sterling. Love you, Lisa. We love our guru, says Peggy Sterling. Good stuff, Peggy Sterling. I love you as all too. That's why I do this, so is the, sh the, the channel's not always about me. It is, um, um, what do you call it? It's about you lot and me, okay? You are the other half of me here. So that's why I like to do this every week so we can connect, all right? Um, howdy, South Carolina here, says Lola Carter. Uh, how do you define craft paint? It's just a um, – I've got a bottle over here, actually. Lucky I had one prepared earlier. It's just stuff from the art shop, and it's student-grade quality. It's poster paint, something you can – poster paint, stuff like that, okay? Uh, I love you too, Julie. Happy birthday. Thanks, Beck. Uh, Carla Swift, where did it just go? Um, I've lost it now. Carla Swift, should we use a glaze to cover or finish our painting? Uh, a glaze, uh, you use a glaze. I use a glaze mainly on the water, but I wouldn't use it to cover the whole painting because you could make it very glary. You do a small painting and practice it and see how you feel it looks. And if you reckon you can wear that behaviour, by all means do it. But if you think you don't like it, don't do it. Uh, hello, Diane Ganza, uh, Kevin Brownmer. I'm practising on canvas boards. They seem to dry very quick. Do I need to use more retarder? You would have to if it's drying quicker, but I'm painting on canvas, primed canvas. It doesn't dry that quick, but if it's a very hot day, it will dry quick. Happy birthday, Julie Cash from Peggy Sterling. Paula, hi from Brisbane. G'day, Paula. How are you, sweetheart? Uh, we love interaction with you uh, and everyone live, says Carla Swift. Swift, thank you very much. Uh, Julie Cash, thanks, Peggy. Uh, Jerry Powell, everyone, please share to your Facebook and share with your public and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. We can relax for a minute. I'm not going to do anything. Just copy and paste the um, the address up there in the tab. Share it to your Facebook page. I'll wait for you. And it just gets more people knowing about me and my channel. All right, and we're almost hitting 100,000 subscribers. I think we're 97,000 plus. So we've got 2,000 and something subscribers to go, and we'll be hitting the magic 100,000 ton mark. Um, thank you for that, Jerry Powell. Uh, Tanya McKenzie, have you ever used glow in dark paint? No, I have not. Uh, it's so not gesso. Uh, so it's not a gesso. No, it is not, Stephanie. Uh, BJ, love these live shows. Enjoy interacting with you and others in the group. Good stuff. That's what I like to create here. Oh, or other primer. Uh, 
I'm losing you now there, um, Stephanie, because there's so many questions. Um, if you can put a um, a question, the actual full question in the comments, uh, and I can get to that more appropriately. To my knowledge, Ian is the only YouTube artist that offers so much interaction and support to his followers and members. There you go, Lisa, from Lisa Carroll there. She's um, got some information there on myself, and I didn't know that, but that's good to hear. Good feedback. Peggy Sterling, do the clouds and sky colour always have a water reflection making the entire painting blue and pink? Um always have the water reflection colour. They don't have to. It depends on the time of the day there, Peggy Sterling. Look at photos and you'll get an idea. Uh, Carla Swift, they always say use something to keep your painting in a better condition to keep the colours fresh. They use something to keep your painting in a better condition to keep the colours fresh. Um, what are you meaning there, Carla Swift? Keep your paintings in a better condition. Are you talking about primering it? Um, Julie Pitham, you answered my question about being careful cutting tape from the traceable, but could you also do a short tutorial on how to do it as I am worried that I would cut too deep? Okay. Okay, how to cut. I'm just writing that down. You answer my question. Good stuff, Stephen. Uh, keep your questions in full. Uh, yeah, keep, if you if you got a question, just say you and I missed it, and you you were asking it again, but you're only asking the second half. You need to ask the whole lot again because with the chats going up, I can't see what you were on about before. Okay, uh, I agree with Lisa Carroll. Uh, no, guy. Uh, sorry, guy not girl. Guy not girl said Stephen. You're a guy, not a girl. I'm assuming that's what you mean, Stephen. Um, like a top coat. All right, Carla Swift, ask the full question. That say you something, keep your painting better condition like a top coat. You, are you meaning a varnish, Carla Swift? Uh, if you like, you can message me on Facebook after my sh live show and then we can talk then. Uh, Lisa Carroll, spray the painting with a finish after it dries. There you go. I think Lisa's answered. Uh, howdy, Father, says Reese Ian Harris. G'day, son. How you going? How's the feed going there? Is it not washed, smooth, sound okay, not too drummy? Uh, there's a, I'm waiting to these questions stop, but that's all good. That's what this show's about. Julie Pitham. Carla, use a clear acrylic spray once you have finished to protect it. Uh, Cheryl Brown. G'day, all. Love you all. I love Ian and now Reese's paintings. Hang in there with the new lockdown rules to follow our Aussie and Victorian Australia prayers for everyone in Western Australia. Carla Swift, yes. And now Jose Lactose is another language there. There is a uh, Google Translate in the descriptions below. Check it out. Um. Perfect. Thank you very much, Reese. Uh, Lisa saying hello to Reese. Kevin Brown saying hello to Reese. Uh, hi, everyone. Hope I'm not too late. All right, says Susan Turtle. Uh, okay. Now, I'll get to another question here. Uh, Craig Bailey. Uh, talk about the yellow brush to sell, see what people think. Oh, talk about the yellow brush. I bought that in, yes. This is my yellow brush. It's from the hardware store. Now, you've seen people, they use flats, that are art, art and craft paint brushes. They're about this wide. And when you're starting a painting, it can take quite a while to get the whole thing coloured in. So that's why I use this one. It's a putter on a brush. And it don't muck around. It gets the paint right on there. You've seen me do it. It puts it right on there. Uh, that's from the hardware store. It's just a... Cheap plastic handle, oh, that hurt. Synthetic hairs, and you see the way I use it, and it applies it and blends and gradiates the colors all in one. You can just learn how to do that procedure. There's so many procedures you can learn in art. 
It's not just watching a tutorial and then go, oh, I want to paint that now. And, oh, bloody hell, he made that look easy, didn't he? That's not what it's all about. It's about watching and learning and watching and learning, then practising procedures, and then give it a go in a painting. And if, if it didn't work for you, fair enough, put it to the side and look at it, and then practise some more. Then you'll be able to see from that painting how you transpire into something a lot better looking and how you advance in your craft. Reese, really enjoy your music channel, says Kevin. There you go. Uh, Julie Pitham. Would love to see you and Reese do a painting side by side, says Julie Pitham. Yes, we can do that. Uh, hello, Jose, says Carol, uh, Lisa Carol. Uh, Julie, that would be really fun to watch Ian and Reese paint side by side. Thank you. Need to get the others I've been working on finished being distracted with racing. Uh, I love that Marilyn painting. What do you mean, Reese? <laughs> You see it every day, Cobber. I was going to have a mouthful of me water. Uh, Jose, say hello. Ian, I'm oh, from Budapest. Thank you very much, Barry. I, I, did you get the um, the Google Translate from the description below? It detects the language straight away. It's very easy to use. Copy and paste it. Put it in there and straight away it'll tell you what it says. Uh, thank you very much for that, Barry. I think you're going to be the translating guy. Barry Radburn, are you the guy from the Darrow from Jero or is that Darren McLean? Um, there's another Australian, I forget which one it is, sorry. Hope my question makes sense. I'm new to landscape, says Peggy Sterling. That's okay. What's your question, Peggy? Um, it's gone way up now. You'll have to repeat your question if you want me to get to it again. Yes, it is, but it's one of my favourites. Good stuff, Reese. Uh, I'm listening to Ian. Don't just watch the tutorial. You have to listen as well. There you go. Some people get lost in just watching a tutorial and then they go and, oh, how did he do it? You've got to actually listen as well. A tutorial, you really need to have your ears and eyes on there and watch it a few times and get it sunk and absorbed into that sponge brain of yours. Uh, I hope my muscles aren't tensing too much when I do that, but, yeah, anyway. Uh, get it absorbed in there. All right, and then you'll know. Oh, I know what the bugger was on about now, and you'll work it out. Hey, it's that easy. Uh, you're a champion, Barry. All right, now I did have another question here. Uh, painting prices. Um, I've had a few people telling me that my prices are too darn cheap. I thought, no, they're all right, but um, they they will be going up slowly, so be aware of that. I just want you to be aware of that. Not by much, but they will be going up a little bit more, okay? Because people do ask about how do you price paintings. I'm not really here to educate you on how to price your art because some people look at their art and say, it took me six months, but it doesn't owe you six months of work. It's a footprint. It's a subject. It's... It's recognisable by the artist. So there's a lot of different factors. As I can just go through a few. Your art can be priced on the size, the subject, the artist itself. If the artist itself is, say, passed away and worth money or very popular, it makes these all govern the prices. Uh, so there's a lot of things that come into play, okay? Uh, but standard rule of thumb, anywhere from 30 cents to 50 cents a square inch, you can go by that. Uh, where did we get up to? There we go. Rod Miller. G'day, Rod Miller. How are you going? Good morning, all from Kentucky. First live I've been able to catch. Rod Miller's all the way from Kentucky, Kentucky, Tennessee. I don't know if Tennessee's in Kentucky, but I just like talking like I'm from Kentucky. Where'd that go now, Rod Miller? I'll get carried away. Sorry about that. G'day, Barry Redburn, says Jennifer. Not Jennifer, Angela Young. <laughs> Jerry Powell, ha-ha, <laughs> flexing. Oh, I know I've bogged up a bit because I've, I've stopped smoking. I mean, look at that. It's huge. It's it's crazy. But I've stopped smoking. I've eaten and I've bulked up in a way that I wasn't expecting to. So I've got to try and lose a bit of bulkness, if you know what I mean. All right, yes, catch... Yes, watched and listened a couple of times at least. Then I stop and start the video, says Susan Turtle. Good stuff. 
Welcome first timers, Ron, all first timers, if it's your first time here, say hello and where you're from. This happens once a week. Check out the link in the description below all my videos. I've got over 300 and what are we up to? 332 tutorials in there now. Uh, Rod, sorry I said Ron. Oops, I'm a bad, says Jennifer. Uh, what am I calling you Jennifer for there, Ange? Rod Miller. Rod Miller, I have watched a lot of Ian's videos and has helped me a lot. That's wonderful feedback there, Rod. It's so wonderful to know that what I'm doing helps a lot of people. It's just, it keeps me driven to do what I'm doing as well. Hello, Rod. Everyone's saying hello to Rod. Uh, so uh, once again, we've gone into 22 minutes now. And I just want to acknowledge these people once again and say thank you for your support. Take it. No rush to do this, eh? Hey? Lisa Carroll. Thank you very much, Lisa Carroll. Kevin Brownwar. G'day, Kevin Brownwar. Brown War. Thank you very much for your support. Darren McLean. G'day, Dazza. Thank you for your support, mate. Much appreciated. The beautiful, wonderful, and lovely Rebecca Thon or Thom. Thank you very much, Rebecca, for your support. And Julie Cash. Now, please. Hang on your questions. No more questions. I'm going to open the lovely Julie Cash's gifts that she sent me throughout the week. I just received it today, actually, so it came just in time for the show. So every time somebody sends me merchandise or buys me gifts, sends me cards, sends me cups, whatever, whatever, I always acknowledge those people and I always open it up on my live shows as well. It's where we get to connect and where I get to appreciate you. So um, I'll get this. And let's have a look. I better not neglect my coffee. My goodness. See this cup? Yes, I've seen, but it's even got that on the back side. Your acrylic guru and one of my paintings. There's a few cups there. Check out the merch. I mean, it's it could be a bit on the pricey side, but I don't govern the price and I only get a few, few bob out of it all. It's just something to help me. So we'll open this up. There's a card. Okay, so we'll get that out of there. And there's a package in the box. Now, this is from the lovely, wonderful, I'm going to move the box off the table. Nothing more in there. There's no cash, no cash. Julie Cash, no cash. And there's this. So first, we'll pull that out of the plastic bag. What has she got? This must be in, where is she from? America somewhere for the best right choice shopping bag. Oh, there's a few in there. Oh, what we got here? We got here a little. What? What we got here, boy? What? What are you looking at there? You look like you're cute. Look at his lip. Bloody! Look at this. Look at this. My goodness. What are you doing there? What are you doing there, boy? I like that. Let's see what the note says, eh? Sit down there, little thing. All right. It just says Ian. Thank you very much. Now it looks like she's. Just doing another cash check. No cash. <laughs> okay, look at that. She's painted the beautiful floral card. Look at that from Julie. That is lovely. All these things I get, I keep. Trust me, I keep. They're beautiful. They're sentimental. They become sentimental. Okay, so what have we got here? Ian, I've made a friend for you and you being a cat guy. I'm sure you'll give him a good home. Thank you for sharing your time and talent, Julie. Thank you very much, Julie. So appreciated of that. So Julie's actually made this little guy. Look at that. I love it. He doing it. What do you need, boy? That's what his lips look like he's saying. What do you need, boy? He doing it, boy? Look at that. It's cute. It's unique. It's I love it. Little cat. Did you make it out of socks or something? Very clever, very artistic. Thank you very much, Julie Cash. Very appreciated of that. That'll go back in there. I'll move that to here now. <clears throat> that way I know we've opened it. Eh? <sighs> Where are we now? Let's hope. Here we go. Lisa Carroll, Angela, at least you have... All our name guys, Rob and Ron's uh, so cute. 
I love it. How sweet. Is the Lisa Cash in here? I wasn't sure if he was in the earlier comments there. Julie, he is cute. Wow, lovely. Lisa Cow Ian, she hand painted her cards. Show that, please. I did show it, but I'll show it again. I did show the card. Look at that. Beautiful, eh? The black background makes it pop. I'll put that there. Uh, where do we get up to? Uh, so cute. Hope you're having a lovely birthday. Uh, I was just reading yours, Ange. Oh, my God, Orange, I will pinch that when I visit you. Ian, he is so cute. <laughs> uh, Carla Swift, Ian, are you keeping to this time for your lives? Yes, I'm giving uh, – this is the second time I've come on this time, Friday night, 8 p.m. at Perth, Western Australia time. This is the second time I've come on. So I am giving it a, a while in this time slot so more people can – mainly from the European region, can step into it as well and from the UK and that sort of neck of the woods. So if you are new here, please let me know, just so as I know I'm touching a, a, a more audience. Uh, you got a mate for Steve. You know, Steve's got a little monkey already and it gets shredded up a bit, so they won't be touching that little fella. I'll give him a name too. Uh, where are we? Barry Redburn. Uh, Julie Cash. Yes, it's made from a sock. There you go. The Julie Cash is in here. Look, it's a yeah. It's made from a sock. It doesn't smell like feet, so that's all right. Oh, it's from Julie. God damn, I'm a bad girl. Grr, Julie Cash, forgiveness needed, because I was bad. BJ Poor, thank you, Ian, for your tutorials and tips to help us learn to create beautiful paintings you're welcome you're very welcome bj paul that's what it's all about i remember when i was learning there were it's good time there's there's pros and cons in everything and there was a lot that i felt when i was learning from youtube back in many years ago i wasn't quite getting and when i created my own YouTube channel, it just happened, well, then I was determined to give people what I couldn't find, and that's obviously showing in a lot of the comments. Name him Gilbert, Gilbert, little Gilbert, Gil, Gilbert Rushton, Gil, Gilbert something, Gilbert Flemington, or Gil, we'll call him something, yeah, Gilbert, um, Kevin Brownmark. Yes, you're looking forward to receiving my painting there, Kevin. It should You've got the tracking number. Hopefully it's not too far away. Um, time suits us guys in Queensland. Get to watch Friday night NRL. Uh, the time US guys in Queensland get to watch the NRL. Uh, live, uh, LOL, Ian Sniffings, <laughs> it's, uh, Angela. Uh, yeah, because it's probably, let's say, morning time in the um, the United States there now. Laura Lou, g'day, Laura Lou. Uh, good morning, Ian, down under and all. Susan Turtle, sniffing, he's a star. <laughs> Shh, uh, Marilyn Lynch. Today is Julie's birthday too. Happy birthday, Julie. There you go. Happy birthday, Julie. I think well, that, that was Julie Cashwell saying happy birthday too, was it? Julie Pitham. I have watched loads of tutorials and many are over two hours but told you nothing. Okay. Yours are so easy to understand and follow. Well, oh, thank you very much for that. Well, I try not to get mine around that long. It can be a bit bit much for someone to, you know, sometimes they go for an hour, maybe an hour and 20, but um, I do try, lo and behold, when I'm starting filming, to keep it as short as possible, and they still stretch out. So, yeah, it's amazing. Hello, hello, hello. Or says Conquest Mama. Rod Miller, this time works better for me. I'm at work. All right. This time suits Rod Miller, so bugger everyone else. Dude, we're going to stick to this time because it suits Rod Miller, okay? So long as the Rod Miller's fine, 
that's all we need, eh? <laughs> LOL, Rod, don't worry about it. I'm being a bit of a bugger. I'm like that. Thanks all for the birthday wishes. You're welcome, Julie Cash. And thank you very much for this. Where's the camera there? I hope I've been looking at the camera because I'm using my webcam tonight. I'm not using my phone. All right. What can I call him? He's got a little bit of, um, what's that red cat's name? Okay. Forgot now. Uh, Julie Cash for the name as it's Julie's Cash birthday, and it's a gift from her to you, Gilbert Cash. There you go, Gilbert Cash, Mister Cash. He's got like a gold cashy um, ribbon on too. Yeah, so we'll call him Gilbert Cash. Uh, Rod Miller, O L O L. -O -L uh, there's Rebecca B. What's the B stand for, Rebecca? Or are you the Rebecca Thumb? Uh, there's a few Rebeccas I see in comments and chats and stuff. So it's kind of nice to know who's who when you get around to it. Lisa Carroll, she's got quite a long one here. Ian, I added some cork to my acrylic colour for heavy texture but worried that it may crack over time. Um, what can you add to acrylic to make it super heavy texture? Ooh, I've done that. I've done it, Lisa Carroll. Uh, I've made a frame out of it. Yeah, Garfield. Reese, he looks a bit Garfieldy, doesn't he? Wait a minute. I'll just go and get this frame that I made. Just two seconds. I'll keep talking. Hopefully you can still hear me. But it's just hanging on the wall down here. It's not that far away. I'll grab it. It's got texture. It's got texture. It's just a frame that I made. It's an odd... Okay, get back to here. It's just a frame that I made. It's an odd size frame. I put a mirror in it. Oh, goodness, you're going to see everything now. But see the texture on the frame. Where are we? I'll let it zoom in a bit. See the texture? That's real thick. I painted that on with a paintbrush, that texture. I actually painted it on. There you go. You can see yourself. Look at that. There you go. That's how I look at See the camera on the thing there? Now, what I did there, Lisa Carroll, is um, let me just highlight that. For your ceiling, for your drywall, your plaster, they have the base coat, which dries rock hard. You put it on very thin. That's hard to sand down. Then they have another top coat. You put that on, and that's light and easy to sand. Well, that top coat, I dampened it down a bit and got it sloshy and used that as like a plaster type of thing. You can create some kind of plaster. So long as you've got some something, so long as it's pliable the way you want to use it. And I did that all over the frame here. I'll try not to get the mirror. I did that all over the frame there and made it very textured. Um and painted over. It hasn't cracked. That's that's years old, that one. Rebecca B. Uh, Thom Backman. Oh, so it's Rebecca Backman. G'day, Rebecca Backman. I've got you down here, haven't I? Rebecca, yes, for your support. Thank you for your support. You bought one of my paintings. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Carla Swift. That's funny, Ian. It doesn't smell of feet no uh, Marilyn Lynch I've painted your waterfall and got so excited I forgot to put the moon can I still do that if it dries of course you can yeah put it in there whenever you want Julie Pitham Lisa I did that and also used talc for texture there you go talc I think could be quite usable because the paint will yeah absorb it and make it into a putty uh, Anita Davis, g'day Anita Davis. How long are you going to be live at this time? I'm always an hour. The show goes, sometimes it dribbles over an hour. It depends how excited we all get in here and what's going on at the time. We've been going for 35 minutes now, so I'll be on here for at least another half an hour, okay, there. Anita Davis. Um, happy birthday, Julie. Usually one hour for the live shows of Q&A. And when I do my live... Um, tutorials they i try and keep them within an hour as well um so and this this show I, like i do it every well, i've been doing it now 8 p.m friday perth western australia time so get yourself your get your device okay 
and um, go to your clock. Where's my clock? I'm going to go to it if I can find the damn thing. Normally it's looking right at me. Uh, where are you, clock? Oh, where are you? It's gone. Uh, where's my clock? I'm live and I want to show me. Better be careful how. I want to show the clock. <laughs> See, you can add up here. Add. Add Perth, Australia. Okay, where's, where is my city? Just so I can show you. See, it's the second one down from the top. Perth, add it. And then you can work out what time it is in your capital city. So when I'm posting times on my art group page for a video or something or in YouTube, you'll know what time it will be in your city, okay? Um, there's a link in the description below. Become a member of my art group. Uh, there's a couple of questions you've got to answer to get in there. Uh, you can... You can say you met me on Facebook. You can message me on Facebook if you like. If you're not a friend, your messages are held for review until I actually remember to get in there and see that I've got messages in there. Like I've probably got some in there now which I could probably go in there and have a look. Um, and then you tell me, if you're sending me a friend request on there, you need to tell me you met me on YouTube. That way I know you're simply not a robot or someone just scamming around. Get a few people scamming. No, there's no none in there held for review, so that's okay. Um, and when you're a member of my art group, that is a platform where you get to see a lot of my behaviour and activity on the internet with my YouTube channel and my tutorials, okay? Julie Cash, I mix fine sawdust in the paint for texture. There you go. There's a lot of different ideas coming up here. Lisa Carroll, thanks for showing us the frame, Ian. Good to know. Julie P, I have used sand. What does talc do? There you go. Anita Davis, no, I mean, I used to see you on Friday night. I'm in USA. Yeah, well, I've just changed it up a bit because there was a lot of people in the UK and the European zone that weren't being able to get the live show. So now I'm doing it Friday night, Perth time, my time. I was doing it actually Saturday morning, which suited American Friday night. So now I'm just dabbing with some different times, okay, to give everyone a go. Um, I hope that answered your question, Anita Davis. Julie Pitham makes it thicker. I use it on trunks of trees. Yeah, you could probably use it for getting that bark look, couldn't you there, Julie? Uh, Jody Blewett, happy birthday. Hope your day was wonderful. Uh, Nusha Burke, what a great idea, Julie. Uh, hello, Ian, says Darren McLean. G'day, Darren McLean. I read your name out once. Thank you very much for your support throughout the week there. Lisa Carroll, Kevin Brownwall, Darren McLean, Rebecca Rebecca Thom and Julie Cash. All those people have supported me within the last week. Much appreciated. Thank you to all of those people. Uh, Lisa Carroll, Anita, Ian, no, he has... Adjusted time for folks in Europe. So we just have to do the Friday visit with coffee instead of wine. There you go. It's just morning time. I've got a coffee here and it's badly getting neglected. Uh, Maria has um, needs a um, question a, a translated. If someone can hit the translate link below and translate what a Maria has said there for us there because <clears throat> it's in some different language. Uh, yeah, that's for the group there, Ange. I'll keep that for the group there, um, just about the questions in the group. You can read that in the comment there, what Ange has said there. Uh, good morning from Canada, says Marie Valiant, or Vail, Vailant. I've used acrylic paint that's drying out and got thicker, says Susan Turtle. Rebecca B, 5 a.m. in CA for live, but it's worth getting up. So thank you for your tips and your time, says Rebecca B. You're welcome, Rebecca B. Or can I just call you Rebecca B? 
<laughs> no, that's a bit silly, isn't it, Rebecca? But um, Stephanie Benham. G'day, Stephanie Benham. I visited Perth and WA uh, in general a few years ago. I, it surely is a beautiful place. Yes, it's a quite humble, lovely little city we got here. Julie Cash is saying, come on, guys, hit that like button. Gilbert will be happy. I can't see how many likes have been hit here, to tell you the truth. What I will do is I'll go into here. I'll, well, I'll go into my um, YouTube, and I'll, at least I can get an idea there from the um, – oh, there's 46 watching, 22 likes, hey? Eh? There we go, 22 likes. Hell, I could see it here. I was telling my son, give me some feedback what it looks like, but I can watch it here. The webcam's doing an all right job. Oh, excuse me, all that. Still got coffee left. Maria Valley and there's retarded change. I'll show you that. Where did it go, Maria? Does retarder change the finished look of paint when it dries? No, it doesn't. Um, this guy here has retarder in it. Um, if anything, it gives it more, in my opinion, someone could say something totally different. But in my opinion, it gives it more luster, all right, more vibrancy, more lust. It's great. I love it. It's wickedly wicked when you want to do a beautiful blended sky in acrylic. It doesn't look dry and powdery. Um, uh, where's an example? No, they're all over there. I don't want to start getting up and down out of my chair. Lisa Carroll, translation from Maria, loves your painting, very inspiring. Good stuff there, Maria. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Maria Valent is glossy. Now, what do you mean by glossy, Maria? Oh, it does retard her. Rod Miller. I'll show you that. Uh, Rod Miller, have you ever tried doing, have you ever tried doing uh, a seascape like Bob Ross with acrylic painting? The canvas with black gesso, let it dry and use retarder instead of liquid clear. Uh, yes. Um, I'll go to my videos there. I have one like that. Uh, I can tell you the number. Now, all my videos are numbered. You type in the number I give you and then followed by my name, Ianapolis, in the YouTube search bar. Type in the number and my name. Enter it, and it'll take you to the video I've just told you about. So I'm going to give you a video number here now, and that's to answer the question by Rod Miller. Here it is here, 173, how to paint a misty moonlit lighthouse. Now, that was on a black gesso on, on a black canvas, I'm sure, uh, with retarder. I think that would answer your question there, Rod Miller. Peggy Sterling, hi, Susan Turtle. Uh, my paint has been getting a bit thick in the, the tube. Liquid text, disappointing. Where do we go? But I'm adding water. Just order some Atelier paints because I've noticed detail work needs quality paint. Yes, it does. Quality paints help a lot. Um, I've got to go, says Carla Swift. I'll be watching the rest later. Thank you very much, Carla, for joining. Darren McLean. Good on your cobber, thumbs up. G'day, Hazwina. How are you going? Beautiful Hazwina. Hello, great friends. How are you? It's good to see you here, Hazwina. Hazwina's all the way from, um, where are you from again, Hazwina? Can you just let everybody know you're the Netherlands or somewhere? That's right. Uh, Lisa Carroll, Ian, if you placed uh, that translate button at the top of the list, folks could translate faster. I don't know how I can put that button there, Lisa. That's why I've just put it in there for now. Um, does retarder make the paint more glossy? No, it makes the paint stay wet longer. You can get a gloss medium. I've got one in there that can give it more gloss and shine. You can actually get a gloss medium to add into it to make the acrylic paints more glossy. I, I bought some, but I've hardly ever used it yet. Uh, hello, it's Weena. Stephen Mason, absolutely fantastic artist, Ian. It's been a pleasure following you and 
It's improved my artwork very much. Thank you. You're welcome, Stephen. And I'm very glad that it's helping you out. And I appreciate the feedback. Uh, hello from Sharpsburg, Georgia, USA. Enjoy watching you paint and have learnt so much. Thanks, Becky. G'day, Becky. Becky Kelch, all the way from Sharpsburg, Georgia. Netherlands. As we know, all the way from the Netherlands. Barry Redburn, catch you next time, Carla. Hello, Barry. Um, Susan Turtle, thanks, Peggy. I do sometimes. It's just a thicker one and texture because it was cheap. Barry Redburn saying hello to Zwina, Peggy Sue. Have you ever used something called pouring medium? No, I think pouring medium helps the paints flow so they can pour and do what they do, but I've never done pour. I probably don't think I ever will do a pour. It's just not, I don't feel it's my cup of tea. Everyone has their own cups of tea on what they like. I don't hate pour. It's just something I couldn't see myself getting into. Years ago, oh, still went off the table then. Years ago, I did dabble in a bit of spray paint art. You know the spray can art where they do? I dabbled in that. Um, but um, it's okay, but it wasn't my cup of tea either. Um, when I stumbled across acrylic painting, um, that just started hitting all my buttons, and I really love it. And I love it that I can teach people to paint the way I paint now. It's great. Uh, hello, Barry. Thank you, Peggy. Read that one, read that one. Have you ever used or read that one? Uh, Maria Valiant. What is the product that can extend, increase the amount of paint you mix without changing the colour? Uh, I've got an impasto paste, and that is a paste. So like you've mixed up a blob of paint, and you go, oh, no, I need more. You put some of the paste in, and then you've got that much, and it doesn't change the colour. It's my On my jar, it says impasto paint, uh, paste. It's a paste. Uh, Nusha Burke, where do you get the Atelier paints from? Do they sell online? Yes, they do. Look them up online. I'll get mine from Jackson's. Um, Jerry Powell. Marie, I think you're talking about flow troll. Could be. What is the best ratio of retarder to paint under painting, Ian? Um, Julie Pitham is asking, uh, depending on your climate, the more drier the climate, the more you need. But have a look at the amount of the puddle I'm putting on my palette in my tutorials by the amount of paint that I've got there. And that's in a, a standard mid-zone climate where it's not too hot, not too damp. It's reasonable. Or sometimes can be a bit on the warm side, but that's a standard zone. So the amount I'm mixing there... I think on the bottle it might even tell you the actual percentage, but I don't get all scientific and read all that little fine print. Now, I just practice and work out what's going to work, and then I go by that all the time, okay? Lisa, Callo, uh, Lisa Carroll is saying, Hi, Becky. You're my neighbour. I'm in Georgia too. Becky and Lisa. Uh, Oswina, Nusha Burke, you can go to Amazon. They have it there. There you go, says Oswina to Lisa Bur Nusha Burke. BJ Shaw, I don't think acrylic pouring is my cup of tea either. There you go. We all have our own different cups of tea, what we like. Um, thank you, says Maria Valent. Uh, Becky Kelsch. Nusha, thanks, Peggy. Kevin Brownwall. In UK, go to my Atelier Paint from Jackson's Art Supply as well. I've oh, got – there you go. In the UK – he got his Atelier Paints from Jackson's Art as well. I got it from there. I got it from Officeworks. Uh, Conquest. Hello, Conquest. you got to try pour painting at your own fun. Yes, it's really fun and feel when you get a great feeling when you get artistic block. There you go, says uh, Conquest. Kristen Tyray. Hello, everybody. G'day, Kristen. Welcome to my show. Uh, Winnaloo. Hey, how you going, Winnaloo? That coffee cup. Took a Western movie saloon style bar slide. It did indeed. Yes, it did indeed. But she's all right, eh? 
I'll appropriately place it there so you can see my name. If you, I don't know if you noticed, but I appropriately place my waters when I have them. And <laughs> uh, I'm here in Perth, says Julie Pitham. Yes, I think um, you even told me your suburb, but I forget. You'll have to give us a call one day, catch up, and we'll do a paint together if you're into that, Julie Pitham. Lisa Carroll, where'd that go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Nusha, look on Amazon for the paint. Stephen Mason, I'm listening, watching in Chesterfield, England. There you go. Uh, what's the difference, is asking Becky, uh, what's the difference between a retarder and blending medium? Well, either we do the same thing. A blending medium, I've never used a blender medium, but that's probably going to help you blend. Uh, the retarder helps me blend the way I paint with my habits, but the retarder is a slow, is only, it's an additive to stop that paint drying so fast. You can get some paint without retarder and put it on your canvas and get some with retarder and put it over there and watch it. It'll take longer to dry than the other side did. Uh, Rebecca, Lisa, I was thinking the same thing, bar slide. Hoswina, I love to use your techniques and for sure in my latest painting in the Waterfall Forest. Yes, I saw that one, Hoswina, very large paint. You really get your work cut out for you there, don't you? Hey, lots of detail. <laughs> Good on you, sweetheart. Um, big hello to Will as well. Uh, Winnaloo, I'm a big fan. Good stuff, Winnaloo. Where are you from, Winnaloo? Did you already say or have I missed it or whatever? Winnaloo saying hey up there. Uh, Jerry Powell. Dick on the line is cheaper for Atelier Paints and all art supplies. There you go, Dick Blick. Nusha Burke. Lisa, I'll have to try Amazon. Uh, I'm going to scratch my head in a minute. Never used it yet. Ha ha. Laura Lou, uh, I'm on. I'm on workflow, and lol at the cup. Lol, keep them coming. I love to keep them guessing. What do you mean, keep them guessing? Keep them coming. Love to keep. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> Anita Davis, Jerry. Jerry's Artarama has great prices on Atelier. There you go. Uh, Winnaloo is in the US. Jerry Powell, Atelier just doesn't make Van Dyke Brown anymore. I checked with companies. Yeah, um, Matisse make Van Dyke Brown. I do know that. Uh, Will said hello back to you, love. G'day, Will. How you doing there all the way from the Netherlands? Darren McLean, you can also use water to keep your paints wet longer. Yeah, to a degree, to a degree. You don't want to get caught doing that too much if you don't know. If you're a seasoned artist, yes, because water can, if it's used wrong, can make your paints crack and they can dry faster too. Uh, Winnaloo, I've been a fan since you had one thousand subs wow so what is your name winnaloo i might know your name from facebook um i don't know your google name here obviously google names i know are different than uh, facebook names 54 minutes conquest mama uh where we go conquest mama how long have you been painting and are you self-taught? Yes, I'm self-taught. I self-taught myself how to paint. I've just I've watched videos on YouTube when I was interested in learning. I was watching people do stuff. I'm already artistic ability from my drawings. I've always drawn in pencil. And so I self-taught myself. I watch these people and I learned what they did and then I discovered my own ways and started developing my own style with the retarder and stuff. I mean, I didn't develop retarder, but I use it uh, for acrylic in a great way that a lot of people can learn and achieve good-looking skies for a, for a starter. Um, where we go? How long have you been? And I've been painting for about, since 2012, I started. Okay, Laura Lou, my co-worker, they're wondering why. Laura Lou, my co-workers... Um, they're wondering why. What are they wondering? What are your co-workers wondering? 
Are they wondering what you're watching? Are they wondering what you're doing? Are they wondering why you bother to go to work and get paid and you're not working? I don't know. What are your co-workers wondering? Christine, Kristen Tyree, Jerry's has great prices on the Tata. Ian uses as well. Great prices on the Tata that Ian uses as well. Uh, Winnaloo, do you play Fortnite? Sorry if that's wrong. Do you play Fortnite? No, I don't play no games. Uh, Jerry Powell, I've done great business with Jerry's. Atarama. Uh, watch Bob Ross win a loo, said. Um, Aswina. Ian, I go with my fur girl. She is a bit sad because her kind is passed away and over the rainbow last week. Hang on. I go with my fur, F-U-R-E, foray. I'm not quite sure what you're trying to say there, Oswina. I go with my fur girl. She is a bit sad. Okay, you might have to... Give it to me, Elaine. I'm sorry, I just don't know what you're meaning there. Clouds was my first video I watched of yours, says Alison Aussie. G'day, Alison Aussie. Where are you from in Australia? Are you from Australia? Laura Lou, why I'm laughing, I can multitask, Ian. Oh, good stuff. They want to know why you're laughing. Oh, good stuff. Uh, Hoswina, dog. Oh, your dog. Gotcha. So your fur. So let me say, it's a bit sad. She passed away over the rainbow. Oh, sorry to hear that, Haswina. That would be very upsetting for you. I couldn't imagine what it would be like if I lost one of mine, so I can only imagine what it would be like for you. I'm sorry to hear your loss there, Haswina. Uh, like and subscribe, guys, says Winner Lou. Uh, Alison Aussie, I'm in Mackay. Good stuff. Julie Pith and Mackay. That's Mackay, isn't it? I read that wrong. Would you be able to do an Australian landscape, Ian? I can do them in oils, but acrylics are really giving me a challenge as the blending is so different and keeping the depth. Yeah, I pretty much, well, write this number down. It's, it's pretty much Australian looking. I'll give you some Australian looking ones, all right? Let me burp like an idiot. 175, how to paint a water scenery. 178, how to paint a lake with reflections. These are sort of Australian-looking landscapes. And I've got a good friend, Len Hend. He does beautiful landscape, Australian landscapes. Uh, 192, it's just a distant hills for beginners over water, but that can look very Australian. Um so we, I've got some earlier stuff. Like there's a beach one there. It looks very Australian beachy. Uh, Two seventeen. So just write in the number in the in the in the YouTube search bar, and then my name. Enter it, and then you'll bring up to that painting. So number two seventeen, and I'll go to some of the earlier stuff because I'm pretty sure some of my earlier stuff had some kind of um, Australian -y sort of look about them, maybe. I did do one of Wolf Creek. Um, there's an ugly one, 116, a billabong for beginners, 116. It's a very ugly painting, though, but it's there. Um, yeah, Wolf Creek, 138. Uh, so have a look in my uh, videos there. There's over 300 there. Uh, Blick Art Supplies in Michigan, USA, says Cheryl Fenton. Hugs to Hoswina. Julie Cash, so sorry for your loss. Sorry if I've been... Sorry if I've been ignoring or ignoring. Is that what you meant, Winnaloo? Oh, no, another Queenslander. Julie Pitham. Yep, writing them down with... We'll look... After, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, conquest. I lost my broadcast collie last year. I lost my border collie. My broadcast. My border collie last year. Uh, Serenity Room Studio when I would paint. Miss my buddy. He met. 
Stop it, Barry. Uh, Aussie, Alison Aussie, 324. Well, there you go. What's number 324? A coastal scene. Yeah, I suppose that can be very Australian as well. Uh, hello, everyone. Just caught you. 2 a.m. Friday here in Scotland. 2 p.m. Katie Coyne. G'day, Katie Coyne. How you going? Lisa Carroll. Sorry to Oswina. Say yeet. Say yeet. Yeet. I said say, say yeet. Can't get more Australian than one you did of Uluru, says Oh, yeah, I did the Uluru, but I wasn't quite – I put the wrong – I can – it's already filmed, but um, I put the wrong shadow in it, but it's there. Yeah, Uluru, I'll, I'll give you the number for that. Uluru, Uluru, where are you, Uluru? Uluru, do, illy, illy, Uluru. Oh, gee, was it that far back? There it is, number 300. But it doesn't look – like the colour tones and that. It doesn't look Australian. Look up Len Hend, L-E-N, H-E-N-D. Learn to paint with Len. He's got a YouTube channel. He does a lot of step-by-step -step stuff for beginners, and he does acrylics as well as oils, but most of it's acrylic. And he does um, Australian gum trees, and he shows you how to get those shadows and depths and simple skies and stuff. And you can use all of his habits or you can use some of his habits some of mine and someone else's whatever it's up to you the internet the world it's your oyster uh hi kate 9 a.m here in michigan says conquest darren mclean sorry ain't got to go uh your voice is repeating must be my computer problem says cheryl fenton uh laser laser beam i'm 75 on um well, it could be yours if it was repeating for everybody. They, um, I think I'd get a, a lot of complaints here. 192, says Alison. Uh, hi, Mama. Well, I'm going to start wrapping this up. We've been going over an hour now. Uh, catch you, Darren. Uh, love your new bird picture. Oh, yes, that was a sweet little simple one to do, wasn't it? I'm going to start wrapping this up. Just remember, all my paintings are available to buy as well. Message me on Facebook if you ever want to purchase one of my paintings. Hit the link below where all my art is for sale, my art available for sale, and you just simply message me on Facebook and say, Ian, is this painting available? And any paintings that are sold, there's also prints available of every painting. So even if you don't even want the painting, you just want to cut the prints of something. Ask me there as well, okay? And at the moment, they're all 75 US dollars, but they will be going up to $80. That's US, done through PayPal, okay? And you just message me on Facebook and get the ball rolling there. I love your new bird. Read that one. Did you paint that girl in the back, in back brown? That girl there, you mean, that's Marilyn Munro. Uh, I did paint that, yes, way before I was doing YouTube. Thanks, Ian. Enjoyed corresponding with you. G'day. Katie Coyne, that's Marilyn Munro. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. Love your work and all you do. Bye to all. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. So just remember, thank you for watching. And if you like watching me and what I'm doing here on my YouTube channel, you tell your friends and family, but if you don't like what I'm doing, tell everybody, all right? All the best, goodbye, good luck, and good on you.